Hello, everyone. It is my honor to present my speech here. My the title of my paper is "Writing and Compiling in Chan Temple at the End of Yuan: Literary Association and Political Personality of Zhong Ming Kexi." At the end of Yuan Dynasty, Xiao Ying Da Xin, a master of Lin Jichan, trained a group of budding disciples who made their mark in both religion and literature world. Among them were Zhe Yuan Hui Tan and Ji Tan Zongle, who were in close contact with Zhu Yuan Zhang's Jingling regime, while Zhong Ming Kexin, who was active in the Jia Xin area. Under Zhang Shicheng's rule, for more than ten years before the fall of Yuan, all the three masters were famous in history for their missions to the West. There was much speculation among researchers about their being sent in by Zhu Yuanzhang on dangerous journey. However, unlike the two brothers, who, after all, went as the leaders of the Chan School of Ming China, Zhong Ming was sent to Tibet, where the war had not subsided because some of his speeches displeased Zhu, and he eventually died in Lingtao. The incident was only. Fragmentarily recorded in the book Ji Shi Lu, the chronic, the chronicle of events, which seemed to be quite accidental, but a lot of circumstantial evidence surrounding Zhong Ming Kexin can still outline it more clearly. In the process of Our tracing the course, the broader historical picture of the intersection of literature, religion, and politics can also be revealed. In the first part, I briefly described Zhong Ming's life, and corrected the errors in exciting studies, and pointed out that Jin Yubian is a Chronological astrology. The second section compared、嗯、compare compared the two Chan schools of Yuan Yuan Sou Xing Duan and Xiao Ying Da Xin, concluding that Xiao Ying had po poetic methods that was passed down in his lineage. His disciples could be clearly divided into two categories. One of which was the Shuji monk, specialized specializing in literature. Zhong Ming was a late late disciple of Xiao Ying, so by the time he entered the school, his teacher's teaching method had already matured. Therefore, he had acquired a special tradition of Xiao Ying's poetic method besides Chan thoughts. While the fact that Xiao Ying's style of Shu had spread far and wide to Japan and had become a model for the Si Liu, Shi Lok, writing in Zen School, had long been known, the transmission of his poetic method in China has not received much attention from researchers. Firstly, there is a clear. Pattern of organization in the transmission of Xiao Ying's poetic method. Some of Xiao Ying's disciples who were promoted from Shu Ji to Abbot was constantly engaged with engaged with poetry, while others, uh, promoted from Shou Zuo or Zhi Zeng, were described as having high attainments in Buddhist. Doctrine, doctrine, rather than literature. 
the con content of Shaolin's poetic method were also sub uh, stumbled uh, under the tightly organization. His poetic style was not was not still but uh, form formalistic and uh, uh, rhetorical. Basing on learning the non-Buddhist canons, For further, Zhong Ming regarded the sutras as literary texts as well, thus arguing for mm, legitimacy of the Chan monks' writing. While the early Chan masters were engaged in affirming that the words of the sutras failed to convey the Dharma. Secondly, on the basis of knowledge from non-Buddhist canons, it became the pra practical pur purpose uh, of Xiaoyin's poetic method to take Chan as the incense, and while poetry as the application. The great Longshan Jiqing Temple was an emerging uh, Jian with close ties to the Mong Mongol uh, royal family. The Jingling Xingzhi included an official uh, document uh, uh, quoting the holy decree of Jiadu Khan, which said there were five mountains in this land of Jiangnan, the south of the river. Making uh, make our great Longshan Jiqing Temple's position on top of the five mountains. Then in 1336, the abbot Xiao Yin was betitled Shi Zhao Zongzhu, the leader of Buddhism, and appointed to oversaw the five mountains. After Zhong Ming became the abbot of Zishen Temple in Jiaxing, he followed the example of his master at Longshan Temple by recounting the history of the temple in which the persecuted heir to the throne was protected and rebuilding the cultural landscape for visiting and describing, and further making literary and scholarly contacts as a way to run the Chan Temple. In this section, I revealed uh, how Zhong Ming ran the Chan Temple through literature, which was also part of his teacher's poetry method. In his strategic historical writing, he depicted the reciprocity between imperial power and Buddhist temples. Zhong Ming rebuilt many uh, memorial landscape which attracted the lit literati to visit and write, write poems. Then Jiat Khan of Rian and Xuanzong of Tang, the Longshan Temple and the Zishen Temple became two sets of metaphors. In the Fourth section, I analyzed Zhong Ming's interactions with Zhang Shicheng's officials, showing that he viewed Zhang Shicheng as a legitimate authority for local security. As a monk, he persuaded his official friends to take up their social responsibility. At the end of the Zhizhen area, he compiled the te texts of the letters he collected in his bookcase into three volumes of Jing Yu Bian, which has been studied in bibliology by researchers, but its historical value has not been fully exploited. This book presents a uh, a comprehensive picture of Zhong Ming's network of associates, many of whom were Zhang Shicheng's 
subor uh, subor uh, sub subord subordinates or guests. Zhong Ming was in involved in local communities uh, because of his literary talent and his political uh, inclination was willingly close to the Suzhou regime of Zhang Shichun. After the change of dynasty, his inherent experience and knowledge became a burden that prevented him from quickly integrating into the Jinling regime, which had confronted Suzhou and the west of Zhejiang for more than a decade. Overall, this paper responded to the question of whether and how Chan monks should participate in literature and politics during during the Yuan Dynasty. Xiaoying sect was a new force in Chan school at that time. He had many disciples who were active in official uh, temple in the early Ming Dynasty, but Zhong Ming was almost forgotten by histor his history because of his opposition to the new government. That's all, thank you.